Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. A parade of systems over the next several days continuing to impact the northern tier, the southern tier. Not looking bad at all, but the I, northern area. It's truly a tale of two different countries yeah. at this point, right? <laughs> but very active weather for us continues. Northern states, Great Lakes, then right into the northeast. Yeah, so a lot of us are dealing with some of that wintry weather, at least with the rain. But some of us are going to notice that the temperatures are increasing over the next several days. It's whether you are seeing uh, the low pressure systems moving through or the high pressure that's been encompassing much of the southeast. Uh, it's been beautiful weather for a lot of the, a little cooler, really but it's been beautiful for the southeast. This morning, you probably noticed it when you woke up, right? Some uh -huh. of you, for the first time, temperatures below freezing. The rebound will be quick, though. It's going to happen as soon as today, where the numbers really start to rebound. Afternoon temperatures, truly fantastic. Morning temperatures start to come up as well. And I'm happy about that. I'm sure some people, I'm sure there are some other people there who are happy about that. There are a lot of people that, that embrace winter, but, you know, you, you warm-blooded people. <laughs> we want the warmth, guys. You're, you're going to be a snow this bird. afternoon, the snow will have stopped by then, but it's still going to be cold and breezy. Right now, Green Bay is sitting around 31 degrees. You can see the snow coming down, at least light snow from Green Bay back through Appleton. But we also have a wind out of the north about 13 miles an hour. So it's feeling more like 22 degrees. That snow is blowing around. So we've got a reduction in visibility as well. So if you're planning on heading out early in Green Bay, uh, if there's something that you can put off until later on this afternoon, I'd put it off a little while. When the snow uh, stops falling, uh, we are going to see better conditions, more visibility. And of course, the roads won't be quite as, uh, not, I don't want to call them treacherous, but it won't be uh, quite as messy to get out there. Speaking of the game, you can see the Seahawks taking on the Packers. The snow will come to an end as we head through your afternoon kickoff today. 325 local time will be in the 30s with a brisk wind still going, so it is going to be chilly out there. Of course, the pack no stranger to those cold temperatures. Now, we are seeing snow elsewhere as well. That snow coming down as you look down toward Burlington, Milwaukee. You've got some of that snow as well. Now, it's not quite as cold in Milwaukee as it is in Green Bay currently, and you're not seeing quite as much of that snow. It's kind of um, thicker as you look up to the north. So Milwaukee, you're not going to see quite as much out of this through this afternoon. You can see maybe not even up to an inch for most of the area. We've also got that snow coming down from Lansing back into Grand Rapids. This snow is going to continue as we head through the afternoon along that 96 corridor. But what's going to happen is we get a bit of a warm nose that lifts over 96. And that's going to change that snow over from snowy weather to more like rainy weather. It's still going to be cold. It's still going to be blustery. And we just talked about it. A cold rain is almost worse than the snow. So that might not be what you want to hear. As we head through Monday night, we do see that tapering off. So here's what it looks like for your hourly forecast with the fall, uh, fall clipper. Grand Rapids. We've got that snow falling through about 11 a.m., but once we get that atmosphere column warm enough, we're going to see mostly rain or a rain-snow mix. Really not seeing a lot of um, snow adding up from this, but still it could be enough to make those roads a little Here bit slick. Your inner voice, well. right? Um, when you just have no idea what's going on out there. You can see the storms that came ripping through yesterday. Really intense stuff happening. Middle of the day going right across Long Island and all the way through southern New England with all these little blue dots, hail reports, high wind reports, even some tornado reports. Yeah, uh, really over uh, over performing system. Uh, you can see some of the reports that we got Uniondale hail an inch and a half in diameter. That is large hail. Yeah, some of the winds almost 80 miles an hour. So this is why we had some trees then up coming down as well. Unfortunately, some of them came down on cars, some came down on houses, some came down on power lines. Yeah, and that's why you don't need necessarily even a tornado. When you have those damaging winds, it's problematic. Getting a little bit of a break right now, but that Your next ears, system. When they're flying a pressure change, right? Lollipops. Sucking hmm. a lollipop, it helps with the pressure in the ears. So there you go. Try that, right? <laughs> right. So there are going to be some issues at airports today, especially around the Midwest, Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit. Heads up, the weather is going to be problematic for you to potentially some delays at the airports. Yeah, there. you know, I always get to check before you head to the airport. Don't end up just sitting there. It's not just in the sky that we could have some problems, though. With the rain snow mix, we're going to have wet, slick roads, mm -hmm. and obviously that it, it increases your stopping distance. So you got to give yourself plenty of room, especially with the reduced visibility as well. Not often in the northeast a few spots to watch pittsburgh buffalo but temperatures should be above freezing so mm -hmm. hopefully road temperatures will be okay and no freezing conditions on the low roadways. average temperatures and uh the the 50s for your highs but plenty of sunshine but take a look as we head through say uh wednesday that's my kind of day 70s? sunshine lower 70s fantastic oh, shorts and t-shirts are back out again mm -hmm. you're thinking okay i'm buying my turkey for thanksgiving i might grill out
My turkey. Did you say is it puff? shorts for 72? 76? Oh, okay. Well, for 76, okay. I can get with that. Okay. It, some people 72. Okay. Some people wear them in the 50s, <laughs> right? True. All right, so here's a look at the temperatures that we've got today. Again, where you have the yellows and the oranges, temperatures are pretty comfortable. Got some chilly air around the Great Lakes, 30s and 40s for highs today. That's it. Yeah, Chicago, you guys should be in the upper 40s this time of year. So the upper 30s is below average, but it's not like crazy below average. It's going to change, though. This is going to continue to build out the below average temperatures and the orange. It's going to continue to seep over and take over. It will. Yeah. That's okay. I uh -huh. think for a lot of people, we'll take it. Uh, 25 degrees above average in some spots. That's very impressive. So here's where the ridge builds in. Potential record highs to go all the way up to the Canadian border, by the way. That could include, you know, places maybe like a Kalispell or, or maybe even like a, a Rapid City. 71 degrees for us tomorrow. So these numbers are truly incredible. Flirting with 80s in places. Yeah, Tucson flirting with 90s. <sighs> Near record. Yeah, so all it's not, said and done. It could get ugly, actually. We love to share the wealth, right? But you just get this really narrow ribbon of moisture that comes right into basically just Washington these days. And so they're the only place getting the rain. Yeah, you can see the, the guidance here. We've got high pressure offshore, low pressure uh, back to the north and west, and that is directing all of that moisture. Uh, basically a river of Pacific moisture right into Washington. Northern Oregon getting a little bit of it, but it's kind of like a, just an atmospheric hose yeah. spraying on the exact same yeah. spots. And you alluded to it because yeah. the ground's so saturated, flood issues will be there for sure. And so we've got, you know, Rican, weakened root systems and now maybe we get a little bit of wind that comes in. Trees could topple over. Something to watch for. Oh yeah, and of course you've got the elevation changes there. You've got the Olympic Mountains. You've got some of the Cascades as well. Yeah. So we're getting that runoff down into the flood prone uh, creeks and streams. If you know you live beside a creek and it tends to flood, yeah. you're going to want to keep an eye on it. 100%. So there's a look at what's going on for us hour by hour here. You can see the showers pretty persistent through the afternoon and the evening. Portland, you may not actually get in on that stuff until maybe overnight tonight or sometime tomorrow morning, but ultimately Monday there's more Let's rain. the good stuff first and then we'll go to the bad stuff, all right? Vikings at Chargers here. They got this beautiful stadium at SoFi. Look at these conditions. They are spectacular. That's my kind of weather. They 80 degrees and sunny. Amazing. Is this your kind of weather? This is the opposite of my <laughs> kind of weather from one end to the other. The Lions taking on the Steelers. We are going to have that snow falling uh, and you know it's it's chilly out there. Um, we're going to have the we're going to have the terrible towels like around our, our necks and our ears and our mouths and our noses, right? All right, so Titans taking on the Saints here. Temperatures actually pretty solid here in Middle Tennessee in the mid 50s, a dry the whole time. So I think you can have an enjoyable time here. Dry for us. Buffalo versus Jets as well, but you're not getting any sunshine. No, you're not. And you're in the 40s. The good news is we don't really have a brisk wind, so you won't really have much of a wind factor there. A lot of folks are interested in this game. Browns versus Patriots. Temperatures around 50 at kickoff here. Winds not a huge factor about five to 10 miles per hour. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of weather that's not too terrible for football. In fact, I'd say this is fantastic football weather. Mid 60s there as the Eagles are taking on the Broncos in Denver. You don't